Hi, guys. Hi. I am back. Did you miss me? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, not at all. No. I... I worked too hard. So, yeah, maybe I'm... No, it was my fault. You wouldn't have helped out with any of my deckings. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. I was... Have we ever done this before? Done what? What did you do to the lid? I don't know. Just the top of the, of the lid came out. So... No. Uh, yeah, it's funny, when I was at the Doof, because we had to go there early for Jared to do setup, and my lovely best friend was laughing, being like, I cannot imagine Beck being any help during setup. Like, she's not going to help with anything useful. <laughs> and she's correct. I did nothing. I sat around making new friends and drinking wine. Yeah, I came in to clean up the studio while you were away and couldn't undo anything, so I just left it all where it was. No, I put... So there was, like, one light I couldn't put away. And I couldn't put the table away. And? And? Well, it's all the walls and everything. But your cars were there. So? so how am I going to put the walls away with the but cars there? there's lots of stuff out here. I tidied most of that away. Oh, did you? Yeah. I put all that stuff over there. No, you didn't. So yes, I did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I put it. So I came in, I swept there, then moved everything there, so it wasn't there. It was there. <laughs> it was. Oh, some gremlin must have come in and moved it. I'm, I wish I took a photo as proof. Because now proof. it's just your word against mine. And Is I know right? I moved it I'm over there. To, all right, well, I must have moved it out. It's all right, it's fine. I know I did. Oh, you still got your tags on you. You think you're still there, do you? How long are these going to last? Um, until I have to fake tan. Normally, I like it when my wristband's loose enough so I don't have to cut it and I can just take it off, but they put this one... Oh, maybe I can get it off from one. I don't like cutting them. I like keeping them. I like keeping them. Yeah, this, and this memory. one's my safety. Yeah, this one's my safety one. For my safety induction I had to do for me to sit around and not do anything. <laughs> did, you had to buy vests too, didn't you? No. Oh, you didn't? No. Didn't you have to have the orange vests on? They said that we technically were supposed to be wearing them, um, but we didn't. Oh. Because technically the whole thing was like a construction site until the festival started. But Yeah, no, but that's normal. Yeah, but I didn't. But even the organiser was walking around without a high vis oh. on, so... Well, you could get in trouble for that. I know. It's like having things blocking, padlocks on your emergency <laughs> exit doors that everyone has to keep telling me about, and they don't understand that... We have the fire brigade coming twice a year and they've never said a thing because they said the doors are illegal anyway. Yeah. And you, we, I think you, when the fire people come to do their checks, you even tell them that. You're like, oh, yeah. This, and they're like, oh, OK. Yeah, so but everyone likes to have a go at us. Oh, they love to have a go at us. Yeah. We have our two emergency mm, exits. I know. One's a toilet. <laughs> That's the quick release thing. <laughs> oh, gross. So... Well, speaking of toilets, there was a gastro outbreak at the festival that I was at. Oh. I couldn't think of anything worse. 40 degree heat in the bush with drop toilets having gastro. Thankfully, well, No, I can think of something worse. What? The plastic toilets. Oh, yeah, that would be yuck. The plastic chambers of death, The at plastic least. chamber of death. Sorry, oh. that would be 100 times yeah. worse than a drop toilet. Yeah, it's still... It was. Thankfully, we were fine. We did not contract the gastro. You were the spreaders. No, we weren't. <laughs> Yeah, that's really gross. It made the news and everything. I saw it. The gastro? <laughs> yeah. Nine <laughs> news posts did a thing like gastro outbreak at esoteric festival. It's like, oh, wow. It has to be the shits, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, you go the whole way to that place and then get gastro. I know, it would be so bad. Yeah, because you wouldn't want to go up on the dance floor, would you? No. <laughs> oh, just the bopping around could... <laughs> they were being really sweet because we were there earlier when they had... when, like, the gastro got out, like, the outbreak happened. Um, we were getting crew dinner. And this girl came up and was like, oh, can I take a plate back to camp for my friend? She's sick, so she's staying at the campsite. They're like, no, we cannot allow anyone to touch anyone else's food. Like, they yeah. were really strict about it. So they If she's it. really sick, she's already got it. The friend? Yeah. Yeah, I know, but I don't so know. So she's still... not going to give her anything she yeah, hasn't already I, got. I don't know. It was just their policy. But they contained it really well. At least it wasn't like pitch. It got cancelled. 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 I was talking to Lottie about it today because she was at the one that got cancelled. 
And apparently they had no idea what was going on. Like they just stopped the music and they didn't tell anyone. And they just put up like things on the board being like, oh, you should leave now. And Because they, they didn't have phone reception. So everything on social media is going off about it. And they were just like totally oblivious sitting in the board. That's so bad. It sounds bad. So if it's officially cancelled, it means they got insurance so everyone should get their money back. Yeah. I don't know how that's going to happen. I'll just be sitting on the sidelines with my popcorn. Your popcorn. <laughs> popcorn. Nothing's going to happen. As you said, you don't think it'll happen, run again. So Yeah, I don't think so. Anyway, that's what I've been up to. Don't think I'd want to run a festival. It seems like Too a lot of Too many things out of your control, like people want to run around and wave flags and, <laughs> and then you get in trouble because somebody waved a flag. Yeah. It seems very stressful. And I also I didn't realise how much goes into, like, when we got on site, oh, the yeah. amount of people that we were, like, the amount of crew members well, there. We've got to build a stage and we've got to put all the roads into yeah. and the toilets and the cooking. Hey. I didn't realise how many... Oh, yeah. you just turned up at a party. <laughs> <laughs> this has just always been like this. I just didn't realise how many people, like, worked on it. It was great. It was very insightful, like, finding out the inner workings of a festival. But you just sat around and drank. I just sat around and drank and made friends. Made friends. Yeah, I made friends with our neighbours. They had this really cool dome structure and they were like in their 60s. They were lovely. They took me in. They took you in. They yeah. breastfeed you. Didn't they? <laughs> yes, wine. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I've been up to. And were the DJs good? Yeah, they or, were. Or the mix? No, they were. They were good. A few of my friends played, which were really good. Um, they replaced a DJ with someone who is so much, like, ten times better, so that was good. The only thing that sucked was I didn't really get to spend as much time on the dance floor because it was too hot. So normally I go out during the day and catch, like, a few daytime sets and stuff, but 40-degree weather and it's a seven-minute walk from the campsite to the stages with no shade. I'm not... Umbrella. Didn't have one, did I? Didn't you take a brolly? <laughs> no. That could have been so, a nice outfit. One well, of your outfits you used to have a brolly, I think. I have a photo of me at a festival with a brolly, yes. But I didn't have one at this time. So it was just that kind of, it was just a bit of an, it's out of their control. They can't control the fact that we had no. a freak 40 degree day in March. Well, a freak, no, 40 degrees is not a freak in Melbourne. In March? Yeah, no, it's not. In March. Yeah, March. It's not summer anymore, it's autumn. Oh, just because they changed the name. So <laughs> summer starts in December. Have you ever seen a 40 degree day in December? No. Maybe they should change. I think we they should. They should. We're, we're, I reckon we're a month, at least one month. Yeah. Skew it. From the, the world must be tilting on its <laughs> axis. Isn't it flat though? Yeah, but it's tilting. Oh, okay, right. Gotcha. It's tilted. It's tilted. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's tilted. It's. All, all the woke people have <laughs> sent, sent it a little bit off access. Oh In fact, a lot off access. Oh, my gosh. Gosh. Gosh, but no, it was just kind of ruined it because it was a bit hot. Was it hot here? I don't know where I live. Oh, it's because it's five degrees colder. Yeah, yeah, I think on that really, yeah, the really hot day, uh, my daughter and Laurie came up and... Um, they said it was about seven degrees cooler. Oh. So their car temperature at their house was this, and by the time they got up to Dandenong, it was seven degrees less. Is that why you live up there? Because it's cooler? <laughs> mm, no, the air's, air's nicer up there. It's nicer. And all my shit flows down the hill oh <laughs> to you plebs down the bottom. We just look down <gasps> on you. Wow. <laughs> I'm up there with Mother Nature. Mother Nature. I had two big, the white cockies on my hand yesterday. A cock in each hand. I had a cock in each <laughs> hand, yes. <laughs> what were they doing? I haven't, haven't gotten the land on my hands before. Oh. I've got all the parrots and that too, and I've had the kookaburras, but I've never had the cockies land on my hands. Oh. Aren't they like, no, they're not, they, can, can they be vicious? Oh, if they bit you, it yields a finger nearly. Mm, their God. beak's pretty friggin'. Yeah. And their claws are pretty, like, it was a little bit painful. But <laughs> Why I were they on your they, hands? Because I had a little bit of seed that I brought out for the other oh. birds. So I had it in my hand, then it sort of land there and there. So I put it on the table and just separated my hands and I ate some oh, of the cups. That's very coots. Well, it's coots. Are you going to take up wildlife photography to go with your landscape photography? I have wild, I did wildlife photography, I did shot Lottie today. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, few models are wilder than anything in Australia. Oh, God. That's funny. But 
I had a good week last week. I shot with Shay, mm-hmm. which I love doing. And I don't know, it's uh, got changed things. It's so much of a ple- pleasure just to shoot without a camera going. Yeah. Just uh, because we did a lot of filming on the Thursday, but on the Friday you yeah we didn't, didn't film at film. all because I just wanted. Even though people would have loved, it wasn't about the content anyway. The lighting I had, I think I set up and took three test shots. You're checking it's on. Um, I think I took three test shots. That was it for lighting. So yeah. no, nobody would have learned anything. And it was just, it was more, I don't know, even Shay said she, she just likes having somebody else in the room. She feels something there. Mm-hmm. Like I do that thing where I stand off centre to people on workshops and tell them to look at the model. And I say, but you can feel me watching you, can't they? And they all say, yes, well, that's, that's one of the reasons I don't have assistants. I have Beck. She's just a, a sommelier. Very sommelier sometimes, but <laughs> she's in charge of drinking the wine. Yes. I don't know. How, imagine how much wine I'd have here if I didn't have you to drink it. So much. I don't think it would fit in here. <laughs> <laughs> but I know what you mean, and it's also it's hard because when you're doing filming, I think we've said this before. I don't know if we've said it in a potty, but I know we've said it having chats off camera, but it's hard because you're you're doing so much talking and explaining and it's kind of almost like a bit off-putting for the model because they're hearing, well, especially if you're doing a model training one, they can hear oh, everything yeah, yeah. you're thinking. <laughs> and like, stupid models doing this. I wish you would stop. Yeah. <laughs> and you're too busy trying to explain things rather than just focus on creating. You're like trying well, to... Well, that's more the thing that gets me down is while I'm trying to content create, I'm not Creating, creating. Your, yeah. Um, content creating, not. Oh, but yeah. it was, yeah, it was amazing without the cameras, just instantly. Shay started off, we did the test shots just with some oversized tracky dacks on with the big heels, and she looked amazing. Mm-hmm. I thought, no, let's just shoot this to start with. Then we shot, can't remember what the original idea of the shoot is, but we shot that. Then I got an axe and brought the axe in and you know, it's stupid props like shovels and axes and things like that. It's amazing how that just makes such a difference. The axe did look really cool. But also that lighting that you were doing, it's one of your classic ones that I feel like we've already done tutorials. I've always, yeah, I've always. Filming it, so it's like, it's just kind of filming it for the sake of filming, filming it. it. Whereas, yeah, I'd, I'd rather get. A killer shot. A killer shot. Yeah. So I still feel that I don't always get the killer shot if the cameras are on. Mm. Even if we f- finish recording and see if we can get the killer shot. I, it's sort of like a mood and, it, and once you've got to that, so like you've, the model starts to get bored with the whole story in her head or bored with the, you, know, you mm. need to change something or, I, I don't know like the trick about it. But don't know. Don't know, but. It, uh, I, I, def- I know even, even if we're doing filming without someone else here, if we just have extra cameras on and we're doing a show, I can feel that. Yeah, no, but I also are different too because I'm thinking, Peter, don't say something wrong. Peter, don't <laughs> don't call her a stupid bitch. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I do. Call your worst names on that. <laughs> don't, get, don't get a terminology wrong like the time that you were meant to say Helmut Newton, and you said Peter Lindbergh, and I didn't correct you until the end, and then you were like, what did you tell me? That's right. <laughs> payback. But it wasn't payback. It was, was I didn't, so payback. Well, I wasn't sure, and I didn't want to interrupt you and ruin your flow. Ruin my flow. Your flow. Well, I must admit, the couple that we did where we filmed it a little bit different, the editing was like an eighth of time. It was so much quicker to do. Yeah, I think that's maybe so. we do things we shoot a little bit, get it all set up, and then we film. I feel like that's the easiest way to do it. Yeah, whereas Lottie is going to take a while because it's a lot of... Fluffing. A lot of fluffing. Although we did start off from absolute bare nothing, so they can see from the first frame. Which I like, though. We haven't done none of those in a while. Yes, and I've got to do a few more. i got to do some more retouching ones. I did while you were uh, gallivanting in the bush. <laughs> um, I d- did do a shoot with... Anna on chrome skin, so oh. I can go right through to the retouching of the chrome, um, which I thought I'd already done, but I tried to find 
anywhere, but if somebody asks me, did I have a tutorial on it? I know I've discussed it in many, like you do this to get chrome skin, but... You haven't done one? Well, it was more... If you've got too contrasty light when you're shooting, you can't get that look. It just blocks up the blacks too bad. Right. So this was more, we I set up the lighting to get that effect. I'm interested to see what you guys did while I was gallivanting. Oh, while you were gallivanting. Sticky beak. <laughs> sticky beak. This you already one. did your sticky beak and listened to the last podcast to see what we said about you. <laughs> did you see all the comments that said, oh, I think I like Anna better? No. Oh, didn't you see those? Oh. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Someone even asked if she had an only farts club. Page. I, 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 having and laughs. she said she only had a Fretz page. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, Josh is a guitarist, he's only Fretz page. I was telling CJ about uh, the Only Farts while we were at SO. She said that she's going to start one because she's vegan and she eats heaps of chickpeas, so she can, <laughs> she can definitely start an Only Fart. Well, I read that somewhere about the carnivores don't fart much at all. I think the keto is still let a little bit out, but the vegos, they do more than the cows. In fact, we should be killing the vegetarians to save the earth from frigging oh my God. sulfur dioxide poisonings. <laughs> um, gross. Gross. Anyway. This wine is really nice. Oh, yes, you, yeah, look at it. Yeah. Yeah, we got that in the Brossa Valley. I know, Schubert Estate. The you didn't Hatch buy any from there? I don't think, no. It's really nice, though. I know. I could surprise you. I think it might have been wined out. No such thing. But you didn't buy any there from there. I'm surprised I didn't. It's really nice. It is really nice. I was actually quite surprised. It was the first one that came out. I've got, oh, this is a reason why. I, remember I said I want yeah. to go to Schubert's? Yeah. It's really good. I might, I might have to order some online or something. You know what was really nice last week was having my first bottled wine in over a week because you can't take glass to the festival. So, I was so what drinking... about people going in glamping vans? What Do they go it? through and take all the plates and knives and forks out? I don't know. Well, how do I take my drink in without being glass? Do I have to pour it in plastic bottles? Oh, you're supposed to. So, I mean, they don't... Well, I could do that. Yeah, you're supposed to do it at the gate in front of them, decant it in front of them, because it has to be sealed. So you're supposed to bring plastic bottles and then decant it in front of them. And the then stuff. the glass you throw at somebody. And the bin. <laughs> the <games. laughs> so you decant it, you go in with the glass to throw the bo empty bottles. They don't want you throwing full bottles. It's, no, it's it's after that fine. thing with Queen. They, they don't want full bottles thrown, only empties. Yeah. Those. But I, mean, I don't know, because I got there before security, so... Oh, lucky you. Just got straight in, no And then mind. you stayed after security had already gone on and had a weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I ended up having a tantrum before we left. I just wanted to go home. A week's too long. I wanted a bed. <laughs> a week's too long. Oh, you're getting old. In the younger day, a year ago, you would have been able to cope with that. But. Oh, I, when I say too long, I mean it was just hot and like we were just sitting around doing nothing. Like we were waiting because Jared had to do all of the pack down. I don't know why it, it, that was his job, but he had to roll up the cables. And I was like, okay, but then some of why them. Why didn't you help? I did. I helped roll some of the cables. So I showed you how to roll a cable yeah, properly. Yeah, I did that. Well, the time should have been quicker. But Except no. you rolled one cable and then drank a bottle of wine. No. Then why? <laughs> <laughs> no, because we rolled all the ones that we could, but then um, the cables going from the lighting booth to the dance floor, they dug a trench for them. And it wasn't super deep, but then after five days of everyone dancing on it, the ground was really packed, so they were trying to just pull it and they couldn't. So they needed someone to dig the trench out. Well, so Leo, we're sitting there. You could have been on a shovel. Well, that's what I said to Jared. I was like, give me a shovel, I'll dig it. Because we're just sitting around waiting for someone to come and dig the trench. Oh, you, weren't per you weren't permitted to dig. No, I didn't have my high vis on. You didn't so. have your high vis, your dig vis. So we're just sitting there waiting for like two hours for someone to come and I was just getting frustrated. So you could never have an only diggers page. No. <laughs> <laughs> because you don't have a viz. I think I have a viz in my car. Oh. I think I do. We have vizes here. Oh. If you ever need to go to that again, okay. there's vizes in there because I used to do all those crappy friggin' photo shows and they always had me in the day before setting up the stage area. 
Um, because I wanted it to be smooth for my smooth. workings. Smooth. So yes, Mokaka used to come in with me. We used to, we got bought our visas. Mm. We were allowed to walk around with our visas. Have you been wearing your vis while you've been doing your deck? No. Oh, I'm going to. Maybe that's why I put my back out. I didn't have a vis on. That's very unsafe. Might dub on you. I got right through the friggin' retard. Oh, I can't call them that. Idiots. <laughs> Um, the idiots building the deck and that and sort of not realising how slow they were. Like, I thought they were about half slow. I reckon they were about quarter the speed of a normal person. Well, mm -hmm. any of the people I used to work with on building sites. Is it just your generation? They're not my generation. They're 30. Were they? Yes. They looked a lot older. No, 30, 32. The glory sage. He's older than me. Oh, 32 or 34. Oh. So it's still the same generation, two years. Your generations don't go by year. Mm, yes, they do. Well, you failed then because <laughs> you're not who you say you are then. I'm a millennial. No, that's not one year. What do you mean? It's over a multiple period of years. Oh, yeah, I just thought that they were, like, older than me and they would fall into, like, Gen X or something. No, they're in yours. Oh, okay. You can't blame my whole gender. You can't lump. No, I'm not blaming the whole because Laurie works like a. He goes like crazy. Yeah, so, so you can't just blame them being slow on my entire generation. No, so generation. it's just your part of your generation. No. <laughs> <laughs> they live in your quarter of that generation. You can't just lump people together like that. Anyway. <laughs> when, anyway. when it came for the Exodus, they did, forgot, didn't know how to order at all. So. Screws ran out and had to order and like, buy another thousand screws. So that's how wrong they were screws. And then I finished it all and there's like 60, 70 lineal metres left. Like a lot. Jeez. And it wasn't cheap timber. It was, and then you buy it by the metre. But one thing I did realise is all their little experimental bits and their mistakes. I was able to use every single one of them up. And my little scrap piles are one little... Because I measured, oh, that board will fit in there with a small cutoff. Whereas I were just dropping and dropping a big cutoff, which you wouldn't. Oh my gosh. A long, long story longer. Um, long story. When I decided to do an extra bit of deck because I had all this timber left over, and this is when I pulled my back out trying to dig up loose stones that had been buried 40 years ago, and then carry them up the top. Um, I couldn't still get over with my really sore back. I was still able in two days, digging it all out, putting the stumps in, putting all the bearers in, then doing all the deck the next day and thought, that little bit in the corner it took two people one day and they di didn't do half of what I did. Anyway, it's one of, one of those things. One of those things. And changing subjects, I really want to ring up um, a hat my coat from... Toyota in um, in Furniture Gully. Mm. Offered us two thousand trade in for the car. You, you won't get much more. Nobody's got, nobody wants these Fiats. They're just not an in car. We'll struggle to even break even at two thousand. <laughs> you... So my son's sent off to a detail. I had a little dents and scratch polished out. Did the, did all the stuff. And I think he spent fifteen hundred dollars. I think all up on all the detailing, like had little dents from the tree branches and things like that, all pulled out, so not a single mark. Um, and he sold it for eight and a half thousand. <laughs> first person, first person to come bought it. I wonder what we would have got if we sold my BMW. Um, yeah, I was not thinking if I'd thrown that at Len, he mm. most likely would have got 20. Yeah, wow. Although we got, we got 15. Yeah. No, that's, that's yeah. fine. For the stuff around us. Exactly. It's just easier sometimes. Mm. Mm. And there was, a, there was some stuff on there that you couldn't just cut and polish out. Yeah, that's true. <sighs> it was, I had to laugh at BMW though. Why? He kept on ringing up. He wanted... So I said, I've got a box of all the changeover stuff up top there, which I was going to sell. I said, did you want... He goes, no, no, it's fine. Then all of a sudden he... He rang, needs it. He, he, oh, it's unroadworthy. I said, why is it unroadworthy? He said, it's been lowered. I said, no, it's got the sports pack that BMW put on. 
Oh, well, it's unroadworthy. Well, so you tell me that BMW Melbourne sold me an unroadworthy car? <laughs> no, well, I, once it's sold, they can do it. I said, no, I bought it like <laughs> that. I wanted a competition. I didn't have any competitions. They said, well, we'll change the exhaust. We'll give you the top of the range sports steering wheel. We'll change the carbon bits. We'll give you ignore a new diffuser at the back and we'll put on the, the sports spring, the suspension system. And this is my mate, Jeffrey. Mm. So I ended up sending out a van urgently to pick up my box of stuff. Your box of stuff. Because it didn't have springs in there because it was actually the original springs just set to sports mode. So mm. I didn't know what he's talking about. Mm. What is a well, competition version like? It just tuned a bit differently. It's got different exhausts. Why is it called competition? Because it's competitive. Oh. No, I know. It's just they have different layers. <laughs> what are layers? They have different layer upon layer <laughs> upon layer. Like onions. Like onions. <laughs> layers. Yeah, no, it's just this upsell bullshit that they yeah. do. And like when I bought mine at competitions, there weren't many about. Most people just bought the M3, M4s and M3s. But now, more than, I'd say, two-thirds of what is in the market for new has all got the competition packs on because everyone, everyone wants the better looking. Better, yeah. The cool. The We've got cool. F1 in Australia. And so this, that's this weekend, isn't this it? This weekend. Are you going? Coming. No. Remember, we couldn't get tickets because so all, everybody who booked Taylor Swift also booked the F1. And um, they also booked Fred again. Fred again, yes. Did you see... Have you seen Maddie's page? No. So nobody knows what I'm talking about. She's pretty close to stage Taylor Swift, oh. like five or six rows from front. Mm -mm. Well, how did she get that? I don't know. She get, gets all these. No. I hate Ticket Tech though. It's such a bad but system. It's like Shay. Shay's mate kept on texting her, oh, I'm at this Fred Again concert. Oh, I'm at this secret pop-up concert. Like he had an in to yeah. all this stuff. Like he was at Rebs and he was at the other place he did in Melbourne. He did two, under, two unannounced. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was one at... Um, I can't remember what it was. I'd never heard of it before, but he was at I tried to get tickets for that one. That one you needed tickets for. The one at Rebs was just a surprise. Yeah, just... A, oh, the other one you could ticket, get tickets yeah, for. Yeah, and I tried to get tickets for that. I tried to get tickets. Well, the one that paid me off the most was the show at Rod Laver. And I had the four Wasn't there three shows? Yeah, but we could only go on the Monday night because Jared and I were going to SO on the Tuesday. So I had four tickets, me, you, Jared and Casey, in my basket, put in my card number, hit process or submit, and it pops up and it's like, please wait, and the little thing's spinning, and the page loads, and I'm back in the queue. Didn't process the tickets. That's uh, so unfair. You saw Abby went? No. Yes, she went. Mm. She, she was up in the, the nosebleeds. Well, that's where we would have been, but like. I don't care. Was, uh, I don't know. The sound would have been crap up there. Anyway, I, was anyway. Just, I just think it's a really bad system and the fact that you get in line for this queue and it's not even a proper queuing system. They ticket check select people at random to go through. That's so unfair. At least a ticket master, you get like a specific number in a queue and it's dependent on when you hop I, in the queue. It's got to be a better way, but um, the scammers would find, sorry, the people, the scalpers would find a way around it. But it seems like F1. I watch every friggin' F1 every year and I can't get a ticket. Like I get general admission, but I'm not going in to watch yeah. general admission. Like we went once and I'm not a snob, it's just that I want to sit in the sand on the corner, I don't want to be just on the straight and it's zoom, zoom, <laughs> zoom. Like it's, <laughs> it's not as much fun. <laughs> Your neck hurts by the end of it. <laughs> and you go, oh, who was that? <laughs> like it was a Mercedes, I can't work out if that was <laughs> which one it was. But I think it's a really bad system. I think they need a change. Yeah, I think they need Boycott a change. Boycott Ticket Tech. Then we got then we got a friggin' people like Dead Mouse. He needs a beating. Why? Well, he never books shows. He's booked one when we're in town in that city. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, we've never had him in London. We've never had him in Paris. We've never yeah, had him. Yeah, but that's in... circumstantial. And when we're going to be. When was the last time he came to Australia? Ages ago. Has he been cancelled? No. So Joe no. Rogan was saying on a recent episode that. Um, Joel tried to get into America 
And because the custom said, oh, you're a DJ. Oh, you're coming over to work, are you? This is not a working. Sorry, not coming. Oh. He goes, I'm not coming to work. I'm coming to see a friend. No, nah, we know what you're up to. Oh, wow. That's... Well, he, like, he announces his... Yeah, he'd have to have an artist friggin' visa anyway. Yeah. That's... So I don't know if Joe Rogan got it wrong. Could Maybe be. they didn't fact check it properly. But... <laughs> or it could have been an old... Thing, but I thought he said he was banned for seven years, but there's no way. There's no it's, way because we saw him recently. Yeah. We saw him in 2022 in Chicago. Well, he's got all those shows coming up. Yeah. Which <laughs> all when we're not there. So I don't think that's correct. I think your mate Joe might be telling you porky pies. No, he's the first to admit when he gets it wrong. That's well, nice. He said something wrong and he's checker said, no, nah, this is bullshit. <laughs> he goes, so you can't trust anything. <laughs> I hear Reddit's pretty bad at false news because it's just that anybody can say anything, isn't it? Most, yeah, it's like any social media, anyone can I say anything. I don't know anything. if I don't really do Reddit. I don't really do much at all. I notice you hardly do it anymore. Yeah, I know. You're an unsociable person. <laughs> well, I, I post more of my stories than on my grid on Insta. So, well, the other thing is I don't really look at Insta much anymore, well, so I don't, I don't, I don't see well, your I don't, stories. I don't post anything. I, don't, I hardly use Facebook. Like, anything no, that, I don't even look at you on Facebook. Well, oh, I saw some kissing picture. You and Jared with your tongues down each other's throats. <laughs> Happy anything, anniversary. Anything something. I post on Instagram automatically, like on my grid on, on Instagram automatically gets put on my Facebook. And that's the only thing I post on Facebook. Other than that, I only have it for Messenger and for our uh, Facebook, the Peter Colson community group. It's the only reason I have Facebook. I don't use it otherwise. I, what's, going to happen, what's going to happen next with social media? Because I don't know. it seems to be in like old people use Facebook or people are using it with families. Mm. So family groups use it. I've noticed quite a few you know, just groups of people, they hang out and together, but they're just like a closed group type thing. I love it on Facebook when you see a couple and they have a joint Instagram account, or not Instagram, a joint Facebook account, and I'm like, hmm, which one of you cheated? <laughs> 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 well, like, why else would they need to have a joint Facebook? I don't know. It's why people cheat on Facebook. Well, like, you know, it's like, well, if, yeah, because if you use Oh, there was a horrible thing that came up on X. What? Some girl getting up saying how she snuck out on her boyfriend because she was horny and there was a friend in town. She went around to his hotel room <laughs> and she snuck back in and just as she got in bed, he woke up and went down on her and said, oh, and she goes, yeah, somebody else's. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but didn't tell him. But she said this, didn't tell him, but was happy to say this. Surely not. I bet you I can find. I didn't mark. I should. Whenever I don't mark things, I always say, oh, I Yeah, but how do you know she was telling the truth? Who, who knows? That's yeah. just stuff. <laughs> crap. All these setups of. Mm. The amount of stuff that you can tell now is just a complete setup. Oh, there's so much of that crap on TikTok. Like the amount of. I was watching some stupid things popped up. I was just doom scrolling through my TikTok. So doom was, scrolling. <laughs> while I was rotting in bed yesterday with a violent hangover. <laughs> I found this thing, it was his family and they had the camera set up and they had this box and um, it had like a, so they had like the back of the box and then there was a lid on it and there was just all these straws but then where the camera was you could see that in the box there was a whole bunch of bottles of coke and then one was hot sauce but they obviously couldn't and you had to guess which one and have a sip and it was like don't drink that and so the first person does it and gets the coke so then whoever was filming it replaced that Coke with another bottle of hot sauce. So then the next person, the chances are higher that they're going to drink. They managed to get through the whole family with no one drinking the hot sauce. Everyone was like, this is so set up. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, I hate those I know. Ones. It's like, it's just so fake and boring. Just and like someone, uh, someone doing some YouTube video and blocking traffic. Mm. And as soon as, well, not YouTube, freaking TikTok video she came up in her ex feed mm. you see her dancing there's a car behind she's dancing in the street and then she just steps out to the car to drive past the car to drive past her grabbed her hair and pulled her wig off mm. well they wouldn't have known it was her wig yeah, it's, oh, yeah. but people yeah there's lots of people for, the amount of times oh, i can't remember i've been sent at least 10 or 15 different like hairy bus trips on sky, tiny skinny roads and I say, 
You know this is a sim game, don't you? This isn't real. <laughs> the three wheels of the bus hanging over the edge and it didn't fall yes. is because it's a it's sim, sim game. game. Oh my god. Speaking of social media, I can't remember if we updated everyone that Peter got access to his Facebook again. Oh yes, I've got my business page back again. Yay! And they did another mob tried to scam us again and Oh my god. I still it was a very very well orchestrated scam. Like the it just the It was very clever because it was so they must have done homework. So they must have looked at, I do podcasts, they must have looked at, I do, and all of the side on me, as well as looked at the type of, yeah, yeah it was just. It was all very elaborate and like just even the email chains back and forth of like well, setting up guy, a time. That guy that we. Wouldn't annoy and just wasting time with. Yeah, so. Well, wasting his time for him. He then came back with a new. <laughs> Oh, I would, it's like he'd never even spoken to us. <laughs> so I sent him a, a scrab of what he'd always used. Never hear crickets gone, ran away. That's so funny. But no, it was very thankful that we got. Well, it was, back. Only, it was only thanks we got to Julia, Julia, one of our, one of the models I worked with. She got hacked or something. Yeah. She, well, she lost accent to, access to her account. And then she complained to, in Australia, we have a small uh, business ombudsman, mm -hmm. which if small businesses are being done by, by other businesses not providing. So she gave it that details. Literally, you filled out that thing that night, Facebook has come back and said, you've got access for 15 minutes, change everything now, and then it'll st you don't need to change passwords or anything, but you can kick out the people mm -hmm. who shouldn't be in there. So it's very lucky, and that's, I guess that's kind of all that we wanted to do in the... I, but Facebook should have been able to do that. I know, like, but... They knew who we are, we know who my... It's they more know the, who the account was set up by. They're, these two people have nothing to do with that account. Yes, you can go in and remove them. Yeah, but the problem was getting in touch with Facebook. I know, but that's what I mean. They've obviously got people there. Why do we have to go through the small business? Why don't they have just a regular yeah. contact feature? That's what I was trying to say is that why do you have to go through the small business ombudsman to get in touch with a real person at Facebook who can fix the problem for you? It shouldn't be such a ringmarole to get in touch with a real person at Facebook. That's just appalling. Yeah. Oh, taxi. <laughs> My finger got caught on the not handle. <laughs> okay, uh, some no, paper I'll get towel. it. You can keep talking. Taxi. I'm glad we have that on camera. <laughs> what? M m that's me back. That's a problem. <laughs> it was your back. I'm sure it that's was. It's me back. Your back. Uh, no, it was me. It was getting too warm and getting... it needed to be chilled. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Can't take you anywhere. You knew that in the first place. <laughs> At least you didn't get it on the microphone or anything, did you? No. No. I'm cleverer. Than that. Um, well, this, I want to lead this to a bigger thing about the whole, I started on it before, the whole social media. I think more and more people are finding out the whole thing is a scam. All they promise you is that you build up your, build up your oh, You were talking page. about this with Anna, weren't you? Yeah, build up your page super big. And then once you've got it really big, we're going to restrict you to only an eighth or no, such a tiny percentage you'll ever get to see your page, but if you pay me $34, we'll let another thousand people see it. Do you want me to clean the stuff on the floor? No, it'll be all right. We can look it up later. <laughs> I won't film it while you're there. I know what you're going to do. You're looking down there. Oh, alcohol. I'm oh, not. There's alcohol going to waste got down there. alcohol here. Oh, thank but it's you. not as good as this alcohol. No, it's shit's too sweet. I like it. But... Something Shay was showing me, and we're going to play around with it just for as an advertising thing for no other reason whatsoever. Oh, the reels? As the reels. And she showed me really? one of her friends, really. One of her friends went from like 2,000 followers to 180,000 followers in one month. Oh, wow. Just through reels. Interesting. Because of what she did hit an, a certain click, and they just went crazy on it. I didn't think much of them personally, but no, but if that worked, and I was just thinking, well, obviously that's why you keep looking at the screen. Because the sun went out, I was just making sure that we look okay. Do we look okay? I guess it's just gone a bit. Nice to look old. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
It's just going a bit darker. Um, so, like I've always done, is manipulated these, get the most out of it by playing their own game. So, everyone says that Instagram's not really interested in stills anymore. They want real, so I want to compete with TikTok. Which I find dumb, but... Well, it's dumb, especially if America's about to ban them and Australia's doing, about to do the same thing. Mm. But seriously, it's not like just... You, well, you saw it's gone through Congress or something. It's... Yeah, one of my... Because it's spyware. They've actually worked out that this is spyware and there's, there's a big enough picture being shown by what Americans are doing for the Chinese to know a lot about how America operates so, and they don't want that. One of my favourite TikTokers made a video the other day saying... It's like, yeah, by now I'm sure you've heard about like what's been passed through Congress. He's like, so... Who knows how long I'll be able to post here, so I've got my other socials in my bio, so I went and started following him on Instagram instead yeah. so I can keep up with his funny chef, his reactions oh, the to... Oh, reaction <laughs> chefs. Yeah, <laughs> so good. Yes, I'd be scared to do that. He doesn't care. I would, yeah, I know. But, but he, he doesn't just, like, do bad things. I know. He... I, I've heard him say something good yeah. once. But, no, what I mean is... Is he an incredible chef himself? Do know. <laughs> I've never seen him cook anything. <laughs> <laughs> so it'd be, there's YouTube channels that deserve mm -hmm. someone to go through and do that too. Yeah. But oh, I can't think, I'd never want to be that person because I'd rather everyone just do what they do and if you like that look mm -hmm. and you're going to do 7,000 likes on them and then spend 16 hours in Photoshop to get that look, but it gets you your look good on you. That's your look. But Some of the ones that he does are just like, he did, he re did a reaction to one the other day and they were doing like a one pan Thanksgiving dinner and everything in the pan cooks at different temperatures at different times and they pulled it out and she cuts into the chicken and he's like, that is medium rare chicken, that is not cooked, that is medium rare chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Although I do want to do it. It's, I mentioned to you the other day, I don't want to be a carnivore keto mm. vegan. No. No, I must have mentioned it to somebody else. Mm. So one thing that vegans do, they try and make non-meat things taste like meat. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Right. So in the ketos, there's quite a few doing different breads, different tortillas, things like that. And so, so far, I really, really enjoy cauliflower rice. Seriously, you, if you do it properly, it's where it's rice. It really is that close to rice. Mm. So, and I'm happy with it because rice always blows to me anyway. And the zucchini pasta, you said you've already had it yourself, you like it. And mm. as long as you get that water, do you have to ring, do you ring yours out? I don't think so. You got, yeah, if you ring it out, it goes next level. Mm -hmm. We need a new spiralizer though. We got one from Kmart and lo and behold, it broke after about three uses. I think ours is not far off. Is yours <laughs> just a little, or is it a wine handle one? It's got like, a, well, it had a motor in it. Oh, no, no, And mine's you just like a hand just one. Push, it, push it in there and you turn it on and you just push the zucchini and it just spirals. No, mine's got like a V like that and a V like that at the bottom. Mm. So in a whole each end for different, you just put it in, you just turn it and <laughs> just spiralize it. The whole each end, yeah. <laughs> One for the wheeze and one for the poos. Um, yeah. But oh no, what, what I was going to say is the cheese tortillas. Mm. They're really cool. They wrap stuff up really, really nice, but with not super flavorful things, it uh, makes it very bland. I'd like to do a channel where I make these things are supposed to replicate other things and say how badly it does replicate. So it was really nice the other night I did it with something else and it's worked. But with the chicken, it didn't work. I thought you said that was really good the other day with your chicken. No, and it was nice the first one. The second one it started getting, mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. yeah. But there's also, they said you're supposed to use this certain style of cheese that only America has, we don't have in Australia. Well, don't, I have that problem as well. I really want to make my own queso, but every recipe I find to make queso, they say to use Velveeta cheese, and we don't get Velveeta cheese in Australia. And then people are saying the blue box cheese is the same. It's not the same. I've tried it. Yeah, that's sort of... It's like the cowboy can... Uh, yeah, I noticed in the supermarkets, it's our supermarket system is just we're going to put... 30 shelves of one variety on there, mm. then give you one sh shelf, uh, 30 shelves with 40 varieties on there. 
So that's all it is, is a lot of the things they're, they're made and they're worldwide. Well, it's like that drink that I was trying to get just a taste. And yes, I could buy it on catch of the day, oh, yes. but it was $260 for freight. My order was only for $24 and it was $260 freight because, oh, it isn't in Australia. We're going to have to ship it from America and we're going to fly it over on first class air or something. Well, it's even like I, I wanted to make some chili con carne and the recipe that I, or a lot of the recipes I've looked at, they say to use rot a can of Rotel tomatoes and with green chilies or something. We don't get that here. Don't Rotel, we? no. It's, well, it's same as my. San Monzano or whatever San they call it. Do I say it right? Almost. Almost. Well, the fruit and veg, he's got a oh, massive difference. The new batch of sauce. Is it good? Yeah. I literally didn't need to put, normally you put two tablespoons of sugar in. I thought, no, I'll leave the sugar out and see if they're proper San Monzano. And I'm, I'm tasting it. I don't need to add any sugar to this. This is like what it should be. I don't think the ones he were marked. This has that little circle. Uh, the verification, DO, DOP circle, yeah. Which says it is from there. Yeah. And yeah. So, mm. But I still find it weird that. Oh, I suppose our population isn't that big. The whole Australia can be New York, isn't it? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Manhattan is New York, isn't it? Yes. Uh, I only ask that because of the guy who sent a message. Are you ever going to come back to Manhattan? Yes, we ever, yeah. Yeah, I know. That's mm -hmm. what I was, are we ever going to? Yeah. <laughs> yes, we uh, were there. Are we ever not going to? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> we were there like six months ago. <laughs> oh, a bit longer. No, we were there in September. Well, that's right, only in the third month. Yeah, six months ago. No, it was only, I think, 12 months from the other scenario. And it's weird, 10 months since that happened. Oh, yeah. So it's only a year. I mean, you said it's a six month. Anyway. <laughs> Scenario. Scenarios. <laughs> Scenarios. Over Scenarios. But yeah, getting back to where I was going. Yes. I want. What's going to happen next with social media? Because you've got two of the platforms are struggling. Mm. Well, Facebook is for the old people, isn't it? Yeah. Old people or family groups. Yep. Insta is completely lost. Mm -hmm. Photographers used to like it, but now they don't like photos. They just want video. Which is stupid. Like, if I go on Instagram because I think of it as a photo sharing site. If I want to go to video, if I want videos, I'll go to TikTok. That's why they're doing it. They're not stupid. They don't want you to go to TikTok. And they're building the thing up so... Well, YouTube did it with shorts. Yes. They're chasing TikTok. Mm -hmm. They didn't do still, YouTube stills, did they? No, that's dumb. They could still be I don't be like on watching reels on Instagram. It's not what I go there for. I go there for a different reason. I don't like reels anyway. They just seem to be mindless waste of time. That's what TikTok is. <laughs> Sorry, there's just so much stuff I don't even want to see. And if you stop for a minute, like, take a sip of... Oh, you're into watching um, transvestites doing car racing on go-karts and they throw 400 new friggin'... Yeah, my TikTok is... I'm on. I'm stuck on Swift Talk. I need to get off it. Because you get I've, nothing but Swifties. I get nothing but like Taylor Swift videos because I watched a few Taylor Swift videos and I liked a few of them and now it's like, Can't oh. you just click through it really quick? Well, that's what like... I'm doing now. I'm just skipping through them. But then it starts giving me Bring Me The Horizon content and of course I'm into that. But now one video is Taylor Swift, then it's Bring Me The Horizon, then it's Taylor Swift, and that's just all I'm getting. I'm like, no, I want to see like funny cat videos. So I'm trying to interact with other things. So funny gives... cat. <laughs> well... You should be able to. Can't you type in funny cat? Yeah, so I need, I'm trying to change. Why don't you just type little... in in your search? Yeah, I'm, trying funny to change, cat. I'm trying to change my algorithm. Yeah, algorithm. I'm trying to change it. No, it's really scary. I don't, the algorithm scares me. I think it's like I, AI. Mm -hmm. I think the problem with these algorithms, they've been set up by people with an agenda for a certain thing, mm -hmm. which then sends them off on the wrong tangent. I've noticed in my Insta feed, I'm getting my own work coming up in my feed. Like every third pitch is my own work. Sorry, I know what my own work looks like. I got in my Insta feed the other day, it popped up with a photo of Rara and I was like, didn't she post that a few weeks ago? And yes, it was like posted like three weeks ago. And I'm like, yeah. why are you why showing I me just, this? Yeah, I, I just want to see 
And um, this is with all platforms. Even mm. X is just as bad. Sorry, I've seen this. I've seen it. I've yeah. seen it. Why you keep? Why Sounds you give me something new? You should be your algorithm should be able to say, Peter has already watched this. Yeah. Something different, please. I, I miss back in back in the day. Oh, you miss your friggin' MySpace <laughs> I do days. I miss MySpace. But I miss with with when. Instagram was, remember before they changed their logo and it used to be the little brown camera and it wasn't that multicolored oh, yeah. thing? Back then, and the timeline was chronological, it yeah. showed you in order. I missed that. And you could just keep going. Yeah. You didn't go, oh, you've got to the end, we're just going to throw you shit you're not interested yeah. in. Yeah, I missed those days where it was chronological and the logo was like an old school camera, not this pink and peppery. And now they're just like, we're just going to throw you whatever. You sound like a whinging old lady, don't you I? Do. I still want to know what's going to happen next. I don't know. I do not have a crystal Because I think wall. it's pretty definite that the tox is going to be destroyed. Mm. Well, if China doesn't even allow that version in China, crazy. the version that's in the rest of the world is not allowed in China. That's crazy. I'm so, interested to see. Um, I'd be with my popcorn. Your popcorns. Oh, my God. Your corns. Well, also, it's the whole thing of for musicians, for artists, photographers, poets, whatever, we all need a platform to be seen. Our old platforms are dead and buried. We can never use them anymore, so we've got to use an internet version of it. We can't use the old analog version of it. Hmm. Where you put a post on a lamppost and you sticky tape it up, and you and the band run around for a whole night trying to dodge police, putting your posters up on every lamppost. And you turn up at a, a bar you've never played at, and there's like 60 people, and you're like, oh, what? those posters worked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. We better play well tonight, otherwise, they're going to be empty next week. That's cute. No, but that's how it was done. It's coots. It was very coots. And then MySpace came on and we could use a bit of MySpace. And MySpace was really good for bands. It was. That's uh, that. But before then, we used to have in Melbourne a thing called the Gig Guide. Mm. And the Gig Guide was in the major paper and it used to come out on a Thursday. This sounds familiar for some reason. And it had all the venues and who was playing at what yeah. venue. on, the, And that was so... Fr when you got your name... Now you look up, oh, shit, my band's in the gig guide. We've I made it. We've actually made that. it. We're sitting we're playing at Billboard. <laughs> people are seeing our name. And you turn up, there's four people. Oh, oh. We didn't quite make it. But it was in the paper. It was in the paper. Did you take the And we cut it. Yeah, of course we did. <laughs> That's so cute. <cute-ish. laughs> Although my old band, because I have a band album, I don't know if I've ever shown it to you. And my cutouts weren't that corny. I only did when our single was in the top ten. And when we had sold outs, so whenever we turned out at you somewhere, sell outs. And yeah, it's it, you sell outs. <laughs> You're a pack of sell outs. Nobody else can buy a ticket. <laughs> oh, and it'd be the odd person sitting around the back. What are you looking at? I've got plenty left to spill. Leave it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we turn up at some places like there was a place called the Astrodome, which held about a thousand people. And they loved us down there. They were country bunkers. Not that we played country, but they liked us sort of demented city people. Um, we'd get at least 15, 20 people come around to the back where we load the gear in and talk to the roadies. And, go, sneak, sneak, sneak. and the roadies go, and just sneak them <laughs> through the, off the stage, down off the stage to get them in. That's coots. That was coots. I was backstage at SO. Hmm. Yeah, well, you have to stand behind the stage. What do we do? And That's called backstage. No, but like, I, it was a bit. Did you do some selfies on the stage? No, I didn't go on the stage. Oh, so you're backstage. It's just backstage. Oh, yeah, you, you were with Jared. He no, was, he, was he was in front of him. Well, how would you get back? Because I'm friends with DJs. Oh. But I found it a bit. Friends with benefits, yes. Yeah, so they, like, I. I didn't have an artist pass and, like, there's a security guard sitting, like, near the part where you go backstage. No one stopped me. Yeah, you so just have a sign, flash your shit, uh, tit for free shit, and you just flashed and walked past. Although I guess, like, uh, one or two of the times... I think might have been known. Maybe. I guess one, one, or two of the time, <laughs> <laughs> one or two of the times I was with my DJ friends. But then, like, I know, like, I, I was back there with my DJ mates and then I went to camp to get another drink or something and I... 
So the seven minutes you walk back to buy, get a drink and then walk, so 14 minutes per drink. No, I, I, I had my water bottle that was full with wine and that was running low, so I needed to go put, but I filled that thing up with wine and lemonade. My friend Gria. Why did you waste the space of lemonade? Because it's, the lemonade was chilled and it's, I like my wine and lemon. <laughs> Everyone thinks it's really gross when I say. It sounds disgusting. <laughs> no, it, <is. laughs> it sounds absolutely disgusting. It's actually good, I promise. And the amount of times people say that, they're like, what are you drinking? I'm like, oh, it's wine and lemonade. Do you want to try it? They're like, yuck. I'm like, no, try it. Have you had beer and lemonade? A Radler. Shandy. Shandy, yeah. Yeah. You reckon that's good? Yeah. Oh. And people try my wine and lemonade. They're like, that's actually not bad. They'll be nice to you. I call it a frangria. A frangria. It's like sangria. It's like frangria, but it's like shitty sangria. Like if, shitty it, sangria. if it came from Frankston. So. <laughs> Frankston sangria. It's frangria. <laughs> Frangers. Sorry, overseas. Frankston's sort of like, it could be a really classy place, but it's not. Well, the place is either side of it are classy. Classy, yeah. It's just a... Um, what what do we, so we call them bogans? They call them what trailer trash or rednecks? Uh, rednecks yeah. Sorry to, to anyone from Frankston. Frankston. <laughs> there is it, it's sort of like because there is a very big um, SES there, isn't there? Is it SES or what's it where they hand out the doll? CES. Centrelink. Centrelink. Yeah. yeah. So it's like this, the hub of Centrelink. <laughs> <laughs> it's people who get paid for the government to do nothing. But then right next door is Mount Eliza, which is really nice and bushy. Yeah, but so certain other people live in Mount Eliza, which are not bougie. <laughs> but it's a really nice area. Yeah, no, it, yeah, it's very expensive. Yes. Anyway, sorry for me being a bitch about Frankston. It's, yeah, it sort of goes like So you go Frankston, Mount Eliza, and you go down to <laughs> Mornington, which is halfway between... Then Rye comes down to a little bit hippie. Then it goes back uphill as you head to Portsea. <laughs> Be all on the water. Oh my, <laughs> we all weird. got the same view. <laughs> so weird. Well, that's what I drink. That's what you drink. Yeah. Oh, you little groupie going back. Did you do you do any video? Oh, you weren't actually back. You weren't on stage. You're no, only in I was the backstage in the little like hang, they, the, have, they had a bar in back the head there. job area in the. They well, actually had so a, that's where they used to. In my day. Back in my day. That's where the groupies would be standing around. And they had couches and they had a bar. They had a bar back there. And then me and Jared were back there one day and he's like, or well, one time, and he's like, do you want a drink? I'm like, oh, yeah, sweet. Like, what have they got? And they were doing vodka and kombucha. And I was like, that sounds good. And she's like, yeah, we're taking. 26 bucks. And she's like, we're taking $10 donations for those. I'm like, After... this is backstage for the artists. No, they're donations. Someone has to pay for it. Well, you weren't an artist. You might be a bullshit artist. <laughs> <laughs> That's something. I'm friends with them. And my, my Do you still want to be a DJ? Yeah. When I get my shit together. Oh, it's just So hard. after watching, um, yeah, I'll can her right now. After watching Rez move one knob for the entire night, mm. You can get there. <laughs> no, I'd love to do no, that. I've just got to finish your mix for you. But mm. I just, I do want to do some little tweaks. It can't just be like you playing your favourite record. So that's, that's needs cool. to have a, a meow somewhere. <laughs> 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 needs to have something. Or I need to program some knobs and these knobs do these things okay. and you know how to turn those knobs. So when you turn the knobs, people actually hear something happen. Okay, we can do that. And then I, I, I had a I bit of a listen to the rough points. mix and... Yeah, I'll, I can. I'll be. I'll be good. I'll be a good DJ. A DJ. Jane. That's what they do. Like, like female DJs is DJ. So what does a J? Is it dear John? If it's. No, it's uh, don't know. It's yeah. So is it dear John and dear Jane? I'm not dear D. Oh, D John. <laughs> no. It's just so, DJ. Well, so why does it need to be Jane? No. Why do you have to sexualize everything? I'm not. Yeah. Oh, so we're going to make a gender. Is it going to be a D they? <gasps> Yes. And a D-them. Yep. And a D-they-them dog cat. Yep, sure. Identifying as a mouse. Sure. <laughs> and the cat identifying as a mouse. Oh, my God. Oh, I saw, heard something the other day. It was just <laughs> pathetic. 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 Anyway. Sorry, Nocturnes. 
Sorry? Nicotines. Nicotines. Yes. Yes, I'm going to watch you on planes now after I saw that girl getting kicked off for accidentally vaping on a plane. I would never you vape on a plane. You know, Fiji, the foot girl, she gets on the plane, she's sitting down there and just pulls the vape out and just... And Rara is sitting next to her and some lady was sitting. They both looked at her like... No, Rara was always like, back. And I was like, oh, shit. Because like, I'm used to just sitting at home. Well, this is what the girl did. She just sat in a plane, she's sitting in an onion and pulled the vape out. And, and all of a sudden, next minute, she's getting kicked off the plane for vaping on the plane. Just, and the lady next to me, just, I was like, I'm so sorry. And she just laughed. And, oh, thank God I didn't get kicked off. Whoopsie daisies. Oopsies. <laughs> well, I'm just... I forgot where I, I forgot about my surroundings. Forgot where I was. You forgot where you was. I did. I did. Anyways. Shh, many ways. That was funny. It was. Oh, you're getting you're getting bored. The time. I'm not getting out. bored. I was just well, saying how long. Because I was just saying how long we've been talking for. How long have we been talking for? An hour. An hour. So we've gone over our f by five minutes. Ooh. More. More. Do you think I got a bit of colour while I was away? You won't like my answer. No. <laughs> no. He says a halo of standing up here. <laughs> you did get colour, but all in the wrong places. No. Well, you got brown sleeves, you got white chest, white face, <laughs> white legs. <laughs> I think my back got really burnt during this pack down. I think it's fine now, it's faded into a tan. It didn't look like bad burn. Oh, it was pretty bad when I got home. But I forgot because we're doing pack up, and I forgot to put on the sunscreen. And because you're spending, I'm so much of like just getting stuff out of the tent and putting it in the car. So my back was just in the sun, and I forgot to put sunscreen on. I got home, and I was all excited, and I That's hopped right, into I'm my Saudi. bed. <laughs> I hopped into my bed, and I was like, "Oh, so cozy." And then I was like, "Oh, why is my back a bit sore, actually?" And, and did Jared remind you that you're from Saudi? <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it faded and didn't blister or anything. It faded into a tan. Oh, well, that's good. That's good. That's well, weren't you in the shade where your camp was? Not when I was packing down. Oh, so trees run away when you pack down. There's no trees that we camp. I thought that's why you camped there, because it was tree. No, there's only trees at the stages. We have a marquee. But during pack down, we have to pack the marquee away. So is the glamping vans allowed to go where the campers are? What do you mean? So if I'm going to turn up in the glamp star? In a, uh, like a camper van? Scene. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they can go anywhere? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, I saw the one on one. You saw the one you were Yeah. So Peter's thinking about coming to a bush tour with me next Well, year. it's like I've never been to one before. I was going to bush tours before you were even freaking <laughs> in Australia or born. <laughs> I can't remember. Yeah, what did it work out? Rainbow, when, when uh, was that, those? My that first was rainbow. And my first rainbow was 2015. Yeah, so I'm 23 or 2003, 2004 was my first. Oh. Or my last, that was my last, I think. Oh, my first was 2015. My first doof was 2014, though. My first, what you would call a doof, I was 17. So before So I you weren't born. even a twinkle in your, your parents' eye. I, fact, was, I parents, was a little right? swimmer. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing no, but a swimmer. You weren't a swimmer back then. Your parents hadn't even met. That's true. That's very true. It wasn't even a thought. It wasn't even a twinkle or a swimmer. In Australia it was called Sunbury and it was a bikey Sunbury. festival, three days, and Queen came out one year and got... Full bottles. full bottles of beer thrown at them because they think, what are these gay looking people on stage? The next year they came out after Bohemian Rhapsody and they were <laughs> cheered. That would have been cool to see though. It was, it was really cool, but it was, yeah, it was back in the day, it must always sound like crap compared to now, but then it was, it was a thing. A ting. The ting. So I could watch some stuff on Woodstock the other night, you know, sort of like, and you could hear the sound from where the people were sitting, like seven kilometres away from the stage. And you think, oh my God, this sounds disgusting. Yeah. It's just like, uh, you couldn't even tell what band was on stage. Oh my God. Anyway, I think we've clocked up our time for this week. Sorry that I didn't have Anna available. I had to revert to our B grade celebrity <laughs> from our A grade celebrity, Anna, to our back. Oh, ha, ha, ha. You're so funny. How did you get so funny? How long have you been working on that one for? Oh, a little bit. 
It took me a few hours. A serious. <laughs> I watched a bit of Jim Jeffries. Oh, and then... <laughs> you idiot. Well, I hope everyone has a lovely weekend. I'll not be here again next week. Sorry. So you you hope. I will. Oh, aren't I in charge of that? I will. Although you being the PA, you'll decide who gets hired and fired. Mm -hmm. All right. See ya. Bye.